Hi everybody, Dr. Chris are here for Contact Tracer Training. Welcome to the course. Uh, it's a most timely course uh, as we are dealing with the pandemic. And I'm here to uh, help, uh, help you gain an understanding of what it takes to be a top contact tracer, if uh, only for your own knowledge, or if perhaps you are looking for a uh, job opportunity in this uh, highly uh, high demand field. So basically, diagnosing a case of COVID-19 is important because it's so highly infectious. We need to support people who are infected. We need to ensure that they get the medical care and social services that they need if necessary, the treatment that they need, and we need to limit their contact with other people. We need to identify people that may have been infected, notify them about uh, their exposure, and offer them services if necessary treatment, and limit their contact with other people. That's our mission as contact tracers as we engage in trying to prevent community spread of this really uh, awful illness. So basically, public health prevention for COVID-19 is if we can limit contact between people who are infected and other people, we can limit opportunities for this virus to be transmitted. That's our mission. So take a look uh, at this timeline regarding uh, infectious period. We can see that someone here we can see that someone has been infected and you can see the orange line that's the incubation period the time between when they become infected and when they develop signs and symptoms you uh you can see the blue line is uh after they develop signs and symptoms and how long they'll have the disease and and in yellow is when they are infectious. But keep in mind that people can are, are contagious. People are infectious two days before they start uh, uh, displaying symptoms. And they're most infectious at that first day of symptoms. And some people are infectious for the long haul, more than two weeks. We hear about people in the hospital for months. And also recall that the timeline of infection, uh, you can see that someone's been infected and uh, the orange line is their incubation period, okay? And this is when they develop signs and symptoms. And the blue line is how long they need to isolate after they get those signs and symptoms. Uh, it, as you can see, it, this entire yellow area is when somebody is infectious. And that means that they can infect other people. So this timeline shows that some people can infect others uh, uh, up to two days prior to uh, they becoming infectious. And that means that this is a really critical period, this, this window of opportunity uh, this is a really critical period for contact tracers to become to be effective. Uh, so, if somebody uh, if somebody uh, is is right in this area right here, we need to get a hold of them. We need to contact their contacts here, people that that uh, that they've been with for two days prior to that. There's a whole system we will be learning about on how to do that. Uh, and it's a very short timeline when, when we really have to act and be effective. Because isolation and quarantine can have a huge impact on reducing transmission. Let's just assume for now that one COVID case can infect two other people. You can see how quickly, uh, by a process of doubling, how it could spread. Uh, and we're going to talk about uh, as far as how infectious people with COVID are, but let's just assume that it's a factor of two, okay? So if we were to actually eliminate 
uh, one of the contacts, if we were to actually prevent one of the contacts from getting it, look how effective we can, look how much we can eliminate of the problem just from that one action alone. Stopping one transmission chain can prevent many future cases. And, 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 and our mission, again, is to prevent uh, community spread. Uh, so, I'm Dr. K. Again, welcome to the course, and I'll be back with you again for Unit 1, Part 2. Bye.